when we did a sort of a preliminary phase two, it became apparent that the response rates were approaching 90% with monotherapy. So the responses were extremely encouraging very early on in very refractory patient populations. Now in the refractory patient population, there were a great deal of toxicities primarily related to patients who'd been on a lot of prior therapies, namely patients who developed secondary mild dysplasia in AML or Richter's transformations or alive infections, mainly because these patients had received so many prior therapies. One of the things that we did do was a phase two study in previously untreated CLL patients. And the benefit of that study was that we were able to treat a patient population who really had no prior treatment that were very well otherwise. And in essence, what we saw is that there were no toxicities that were really drug related. And so based upon that, we know very much that this is a drug that's extremely well tolerated and safe and very efficacious. And so now we're in our current phase three study that is a pivotal study that will hopefully lead to the drug's approval.